Good morning, this is Josh, and we're reading through the Quran and the Bible. We're making our way through Genesis uh, this time, and I wanted to read, first of all, from the Berean Study Bible, Genesis chapter 20. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're blessed. Um, it's great to have you along on this journey with me. Uh, we're all doing well here. Um, crazy times we're in, isn't it? Let's pray. Abraham, Sarah, and Abimelech. Now Abraham journeyed from there to the, ne the region of the Negev and settled between Kadesh and Shur while he was staying in Gerar. Abraham said to his wife Sarah, She is my sister. So Abimelech, king of Gerar, had Sarah brought to him. One night, however, God came to Abimelech in a dream and told him, You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken, for she is a married woman. Now Abimelech had not gone near her, so he replied, Lord, would you destroy a nation even though it is innocent? Didn't Abraham tell, tell me she is my sister? And she herself said, He is my brother. I have done this in the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands. Then God said to Abimelech in the dream, Yes, I know that you did this with a clear conscience, and so I have kept you from sinning against me. That is why I did not let you touch her. Now return the man's wife, for he is a prophet. He will pray for you, and you will live. But if you do not restore her, be aware that you will surely die you and all who belong to you. Early the next morning Abimelech got up and summoned all his servants, and when he described to them all that had happened, the men were terrified. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said, What have you done to us? How have I sinned against you? that you have brought such tremendous guilt upon me and my kingdom. You have done things to me that should not be done. Abimelech also asked Abraham, What prompted you to do such a thing? Abraham replied, I thought to myself, Surely there is no fear of God in this place. They will kill me on account of my wife. Besides, she really is my sister, the daughter of my father, though not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. So when God had had me journey from my father's house, I said to Sarah, This is how you can show your loyalty to me. Wherever we go, say of me, he is my brother. So Abimelech brought sheep and cattle, men servants and maid servants, and he gave them to Abraham and restored his wife Sarah to him. And Abimelech said, Look, my land is before you. Settle wherever you please. And he said to Sarah, See, I am giving your brother a thousand pieces of silver. It is your vindication before all who are with you. You are completely cleared. Then Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, so that they could again bear children. For on account of Abraham's wife, Sarah, the Lord had completely closed all the wombs in Abimelech's household. 
Wow, it's quite a story. Let's take a look now in the interlinear Bible. It has the Hebrew or the original uh, language that the Old Testament was written in. And I like an interlinear because it gives you a direct translation. Uh, and you can see each word and what it means in English. It even gives it transliteration and then the Strong's number. So let's read each verse in English and then in Hebrew. And journeyed from there Abraham to the Negev, and he dwelt between Kadesh and Shur, and stayed in Gerar. Verse 1, Hebrew. Wayissa Misham Abraham Arsa Hanegib Wayeshib bin Kadesh Uben Shur Wayagar Digrar Verse 2 And said Abraham of Sarah his wife, my sister, she is, and sent Abimelech king of Gerar, and took Sarah. Make this a little smaller. Okay. Verse 2. It's going to scroll here. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> Here we go. Verse 2. Wayomer Abraham El. Try that again. Verse 2. Wayomir Abraham El Sara Ishtau Ahati He Wayishla Abimelech Melek Gerar Wayika Et Shara Wayabu. Okay, sorry, that's the end. Verse 3. But came God to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, you are as good as dead because of the woman whom you have taken, for she is married to a man. Verse 3 in Hebrew. Wayabo Elohim El Abimelech Bahalom Haleyela Wayomer Lao Heneka Met Al Haisha Asher Lakata Wahio Beulat Baal Wa bimelek lo. Verse 4. Let's jump back there. I jumped into verse 4. But Abimelech not had come near her, and he said, Lord, will a nation also righteous you slay? Wa yabimelech lo karab. Ela Eleha Wayomer Edonai Hagau Gam Sadek Taharog Taharog Verse five Did not he say to me, My sister she is? And she even herself said, 
my brother he is. In the integrity of my heart and innocence of my hands have I done this. Halohu amar li ahatihi wehi gamhi amera. Ahihu betam lebabi ubenekion kepa aseti zot. Verse 6. And said to him, God, in a dream, Yes, I know that in the integrity of it you did this, uh, for withheld also I you from sinning against me upon thus, not I did let you touch her now, touch her. Wayomer Elau Ha Elohim. Bahalem Gam Anoki Yadati ki Bahem Betam Lebabeka Esita Zut Wae Wae Sok Am Anoki Outka Mahatao Li al Kenlo Netatika Lingoa Eleha Verse seven Now restore wife the man's for a prophet he is, and he will pray for you. And you shall live, but if not, you do restore her, know that surely you shall die, you and all who are yours. Wow. Verse 7. Where has it? Inabi. Who? Wailev Bayadka Weye Weyem Eneka Meshed Daki Out Tamut Atta Kil Ashur Lak Terrifying. So he was early at Bimelech morning and called all his servants. And he told things, these in their hearing, and were afraid, the men very much. Vyeskim, Vayeshkim, Abimelech, Baboker, Vayekra, Lekal, Abadao, Edabir, Etkal, Hadebarem, Haele, be azenehem wayereyu hanas hanashim meod. Wow. Verse 9. And Abimelech, and called Abimelech Abraham, and said to him, What have you done to us, and how have I offended you, that you have brought on me? And on my kingdom a sin great, deeds that not ought to be done, you have done to me. Vayikra Abimelech le Abraham, Vayomer lau me asitta lan lanu hatati laki habeta. Alle Yalle Wayel Mamlaki Hata Hatola Me Meyashim 
Ya Yaasu Ashit Emadi Verse 10, And said Abimelech to Abraham, What did you see that you have done the thing? Hmm. Abimelech el Abraham, Ma ra'itta ki yashitta dabhaze. Verse 11, said Abraham, because I thought surely is not the fear of God, and they will kill me on account of my wife. Wayomer Abraham ki amarti rak'en yerat Elohim bemakom haze waharaguni al debar ishti. Verse 12 indeed my sister the daughter of my father but she is not the daughter of my mother hmm ahati bat abbi he ak lo bat immi wed li le isha and it came to pass when caused to walk God from the house of my father, that I did her. This is your name, that you should do for me in every place, wherever we go. Her say of me, my brother is he. Hmm. Verse 13. Wehi, keyash hitu. Hakti Elohim, Mibit Abbi, Wayumi Hastek, Asher Emadi, El Kal Hakum, Asher Nabao, Shamma, Li Ahi Hutin. And took Abimelech sheep and oxen and maid servants and maid and men servants, gave them to Abraham, and restored to him Sarah his wife. Wayikka Abim Shon Wa Abadim U Sepahat Wayitten Le Abraham. Lao et Sara istau. And said Abimelech, See, my land is before you, where it pleases you dwell. Wayomer Abimelech hinne arse le panek betau beyeneka sheb. Sixteen. And to Sarah he sold, I have given thou peace silver. Indeed, you is a covering of the eyes of all who are with you and before everyone. Thus she was vindicated. Ule Sara, Hinne, Natati, Elip Kesep, Leak, Leah, Le. Leah, Leahik, Hinne, Hu, Lakesut, Anayim, Levitak, Wayet Kal, Wanakahat, Team. And so Abraham to, to Abraham God, so prayed Abraham to God. And healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they could bear children. Wayit Palel, Wayit Palel, Abim El Ha Elohim, Wayarapa Elohim et Abimelech, Wayit. 
ishto wa ama hatta wa yeliddu wa yeliddu 18 for had completely had closed up yahweh all the wombs of the house of Abimelech, of Bixera, wife of Abraham, Ki Asur, Asar, Yahweh, Yid Kal Raham, Lbayit Abimelech, Al Debar, Sara Eshet, Abraham. Wow, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, I'd like to take a look at the Arabic of Genesis 19. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Here's a back translation or a little literal Arabic to English translation. And the two angels, oop, we are supposed to be in 20, one further over, here we go. And Abraham moved from there to the land of the south and dwelt between Kadesh and Shur. And he sojourned, he lived as a stranger in Gerar. Okay, verse 2. And Abraham said to Sarah, his wife, literally his woman, She is my sister. So Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent and took her. Then God came to Abimelech in a dream of the night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man on account of the woman whom you have taken, for indeed she is married to a husband. But Abimelech had not come near to her, and he said, O Lord, a righteous nation, you will. Didn't he say to me, Indeed, she is my sister? And she, even she herself, said, He is my brother in the integrity of my heart and the cleanness of my two hands I have done this. And God said to him in the dream, I also knew that you in the integrity of your heart did this, and I also held you back from sinning against me, therefore I did not let you touch her. And now restore the wife, literally woman, to the man, for he is a prophet so that he might pray on your behalf, and you shall live. And you do, if you do not restore her, then know that you yourself shall surely die. Literally, you yourself shall die a death, and everyone who is yours. Let's see what it says. Note the use of the verb fa'addi in this subjunctive and follow the particle and the following particle when used in this manner carries the meaning of so that the clause is then translated so that he might pray so write to page 30d through 31a and content cantarino page 79 and page 33 through 34 Next, in this verse, we see a common Semitic linguistic structure called a paranamasia, or cognate accusative, you shall die a death. It employs the use of two words, often a verb and its verbal noun, both having the same root. This usage is considered elegant in Arabic and often conveys the idea of intensity. He laughed a laugh, or sacrificed sacrifices. 
That's why this phrase is often translated in English as, you shall surely die. Interesting. So Abimelech got up early on the next day, literally in the morrow, and called all his servants and spoke all these words, all this speech in their ears, and the men feared greatly. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? And in what have I sinned against you? That you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin, deeds which should not be done, you have done to me. Hmm. And Abimelech said to Abraham, What did you say what did what did you see that you have done this thing? The Arabic matches the Hebrew wording of this verse exactly. Ne next note that hash may be followed by a verb in the perfect tense. And Abraham said, Indeed, I said, the fear of God is not in this place at all, and they will kill me on account of my wife, literally my sis my woman. Mm. And also, in truth, she is my sister, the daughter of my father. However, she is not the daughter of my mother, and she became a wife to me. Interesting. As the first term of an adafa, or when it has a pronoun suffix, the word an, or ab, father, becomes abu in the nominative, abi in the genitive, as in abba in ib, ibbi, ibni. I think that's what it is, abna ibni. The daughter of my father, and Abba in the accusative. The unusual spellings are explained in right, page 249. <clears throat> and it came to pass, when God made me to wander from the house of my father, that I said to her, This is the kindness which you should do for me. In every place to which we come, say, say of me, he is my brother. As the first term of an adafa, and when it is pronounced suffix, suffix, okay. Same thing, interesting. The house of my father. How about an acute and usual smelling? Okay, same thing. And Abimelech took sheep and cattle and male servants and female servants, and he gave them to Abraham, and he restored Sarai, his wife, literally his woman, to him. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell in whatever is good in your two eyes. The Hebrew literally says, Dwell in the good of your eyes. In Arabic, the word ma may be used in a conditional sense as it is here. So the perfect tense of the following verb is used with the present tense meaning. Whatever is good. And he said to Sarah, Indeed, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eye with regard to all that is with you, and with every, everyone, so you have been treated justly. The literal Hebrew reads, Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes, and for all who are with you, and with all, and you are set right. The exact meaning of Abimelech's statement is uncertain. Apparently it means that the money somehow cleared her in the eyes of others. 
now none should look upon her as being compromised. So Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife, his, his woman, and his female servants. Then they bore children. <clears throat> For the Lord had shed every wound of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, the wife, literally woman of Abraham. And the Lord visited Sarah. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to stop there. Very interesting. 